Um, so right now I'm logged into a NetSuite demo account. In the start, I'm gonna go to customization. I'm gonna go to Suite Bundler and I'm gonna search and install bundles. In, install bundles. Now you'll notice I'm in, I'm in NetSuite as an administrator, so you have to be in here as an administrator to install this bundle. Um, but using those bundle IDs that I provided uh, earlier, uh, so I'm going to type in 182343, and I'll search for that bundle, and you'll see this will bring up our electronic bank payments module. You could also um, search on the name as well, uh, but you just want to make sure you're specifically installing this bundle. And again, this is the free version of the Suite app. So if you clicked on that, uh, you would then be prompted with an install button, and you can go through the steps to install in your account. Okay, And then all it takes is some configuration, and you're ready to start using the module. And then just to back up, if I were to type in the advanced uh, electronic bank payment bundle ID and click on that one, again, I just want to reiterate, you'll see I don't have an install because I have to engage with NetSuite first. Okay. So once you've uh, installed the bundles in your account, uh, the first key difference you're going to see is on your ribbon in NetSuite, you're going to see this payments button. Okay. So this is the payment suite app and all the functionality related to the app is can be found underneath this tab. And the first thing you're going to want to do is set up a bank account. So if I go to payments, go to setup, go to bank details, I'll go ahead and open that in a new tab. And you'll see I have one bank account currently set up. And you can set up this module for as many of your bank accounts as you want. Um, so I'll just go ahead and view this just to give you an idea of what that looks like in the system. Okay. Um, so taking a look at this, you'll see um, you give the the bank account a name. That's really just for identifying it when you're using the Suite app. And then you link it to a GL account. Um, you can have multiple um, you know, bank accounts within the Suite app per GL account, but I would just recommend doing a one-to-one. -one. Um, from there, you then define with the system what payment template you're using. So for example, right here, I'm using ACH CTX. Uh, there's also ACH PPD CCD available uh, in the US version. You can then, if you were using the direct deposit with customers, you can identify a payment file format there. And then lastly, we also have a positive pay format. Okay. From there, um, you'll then have tabs per each payment file where you essentially are just identifying your bank account's information, like your routing number, uh, your bank account number, your tax ID, your, your company ID with the bank, things like that. Okay. So now transitioning, so once you have your bank account set up, um, you'll then want to go to a vendor or a customer or an employee record. So anyone you could possibly pay out of NetSuite. Um, what this suite app does is it adds a bank payment details tab to the entities. Uh, so you see we have this bank payment details. If you're going to possibly pay this, say this vendor through the module, you need to have this EFT bill payment checked. And then down below, you have the ability to add as many bank accounts associated with, with this vendor as you'd like. So right now you'll see I have one. Uh, bank account associated here. Uh, so if, if I go ahead and edit that, you'll see there's just a couple fields you need to fill in. So you have to first specify how you're going to pay them. Um, so those different payment file formats are identified here. So you're going to want to, of course, pick the payment file that you've set up on back on this bank payment record on the vendor record because that's how the file is going to be generated. You then have the ability to set the primary bank account and then if you have multiple bank accounts, each additional one would be a secondary account. You would identify your bank account number, your routing number, and then lastly, if it's a checking or savings account. And then with those few you know, short steps, um, your vendor record is ready to be paid in the system. Um, now note that if you go ahead and say you were to install this payment module today, um, and you know if you had say hundreds of vendors with their information already, you can import that bank account uh, detail as well into the system, okay? Um, and then the last piece of sort of like generic setup is with this module, I just really wanna call out that it comes with custom permissions. Uh, so any of your custom rules that you've created throughout your implementation or, or as you've been on NetSuite, um, if you go ahead and edit those rules, you can go over to permissions in this custom record tab, and you'll be able to see different permissions that you need to add. So for example, I've added the permission for entity bank details in full um, so that I'm able to add bank data to vendor records. And there's about, I wanna say 10, maybe 15 different permissions related to this module, and you can find all those listed out in help or in suite answers. Okay, so once you have your bank account 
and all your, your vendors set up in the system. Um, and when it comes time to begin paying either those vendors or employees or receiving payments from customers, you're gonna come up to payments and you're gonna come to payment processing. So you'll see we have two different actions. We have our bill payment processing and then our invoice payment processing. So vendors up top with customers down below. And then if I click on this bill payment processing, it's gonna bring us to a screen that's fairly similar to where we go to pay checks natively on NetSuite today. Okay, so you, you come in here, you would pick your bank account. Um, we give the page just a second to reload. We would pick our AP account that we wanna pay out of. And then as I scroll down, um, it's key to identify the date this file is gonna be processed, so I'm gonna bump that out one day. Um, it's typically the date the bank isn't gonna process this file until the next day. And then I'll give it a reference note. And then as I scroll down, we have all the bills um, that are against vendors or employees that have that EFT bill payment checkbox checked. So here's everything that's available for payment through this module. And from here, you just go through and you identify, okay, I wanna pay these bills. I'm just gonna pick a random selection of those bills. Okay. Once you've identified what you wanna pay, um, you go up and you click your submit button. And now once you click submit, NetSuite's gonna go through a, a couple of steps and it's gonna ultimately generate a payment file that you can download and then import into your bank. Um, so you do have to be patient. And it typically does take about a minute uh, for this payment file to be generated. Um, but ultimately, to show you a, uh, a finished product, I'm gonna go back into payments, go to payment processing, and I'm gonna open up my payment file administration. So this is how I can get to any uh, file that I've previously generated. And so yesterday I created a file just for the sake of demo purposes so that we don't have to wait for the process to finish running. Um, but once the process is finished, when it's generating your file, uh, you would hit refresh a couple times to get there. You'll see that NetSuite now displays a couple of additional buttons up here in the header. And it also puts a file reference or a link to the file that you're gonna wanna download and ultimately import into your bank. So if we go ahead and preview this, this is a standard NACHA file with, uh, in the CTX format, in that addenda type format. So we'll see the amounts we're gonna, on one line that we're gonna pay to a specific vendor. So here, here's what we're paying to AAA Consulting. And then beneath it, you have your addenda records. And if you paid multiple bills per vendor, you would see multiple lines here as well. Okay. So all you have to do is download that, and then from there, you're importing that into your bank. Um, so as a part of the configuration process, it is very important that you're in communication with your bank. Uh, you you want to get an understanding of what file formats they support um, and whether or not you need to be sending them a CCD or PPD file or a CTX, or as most banks are, they do accept both. So it's more of just a selection of which one you want to use. Okay. Uh, but now getting back into the process, we've generated this payment file. We have a file we would import into the bank. They would accept it, execute the payments for us. Um, you'll see NetSuite has marked all these bills as paid and created bill payment records. Um, and then from there, we also have the option to email a payment notification. So I can come here, I can click this button, and we have the ability to send emails to all our vendors, essentially communicating them the remittance advice of what we've paid them. Okay. So I have, a note of, I have a subject to that email. I can put notes where I wanna you know, identify what I'm paying or send them a message. And then I can pick the vendors I wanna send a payment uh, remittance to. Okay. Now I've already done this in this account. So what I'm gonna do is down here, just as NetSuite is uh, identifying what we paid, it's also identifying the email notifications that went out of the system. Um, so here I can see we, pay, we sent an email to AAA Consulting. I'll go ahead and right click on that just to open up the bill payment. And I'll go to my communication tab and go to my messages, just a couple clicks, and you'll see that on the bill payment record now NetSuite's gonna store that you sent this email from the module. Um, so if you go ahead and view that, you'll get a, you know, a quick preview of the email that, that your uh, vendors will be getting. Um, so here we have that subject payment notification and here you have the payment voucher. And you can within here see that it would list out all the bills that you paid through this module. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and close there and then I'm gonna go back up into the payments. Uh, if we go to payment processing, again, there's also invoice payment processing available if you wanna directly debit your customer's bank accounts. The process is gonna be very similar uh, to what we just did with paying bills in the system. Okay, 
And then lastly, the last thing I'm going to show you is if you, within payments, if you come down into checks, there is a positive pay uh, file format. Okay. So again, this positive pay works specifically on checks you cut from your bank account. You can come in, pick your bank account, identify the dates for which you want to send this file for. So maybe, you know, there was a week we did a check run, so I'm going to go ahead and set my dates to 1220 through the end of 2017. Um, so maybe that's, you know, the date range of my previous check run. Uh, you'll see that NetSuite is then going to list out all the checks that you cut out of the system. It'll identify the number of transactions, total amount paid, uh, and then you can go ahead and submit this. Uh, and just like the when we process the bill payments, NetSuite's going to generate another text file that you can then download and import into your bank to give you that positive pay uh, controls within your bank account. The last thing I'm going to show you actually is if I come to payments and if I go to setup, you'll see there's a tab for payment file templates. Um, so here's all the standard templates that come within a NetSuite system. So if you scroll down, if you're a U.S. customer, you want to really focus in on just the U.S. Uh, files. So here's you know what's available. So from the EFT or the bill pay, uh, vendor bill payment side and things, we have an ACH CCD PBD format. We have the CTX format. And then we also have a PNC active pay format available. From a direct debit standpoint, we have the ACH PPD available to us. And then from positive pay, NetSuite has uh, a couple bank specific formats available, one for B uh, Bank of America, another for RBC, and lastly, one for Silicon Valley Bank. Um, and just to reiterate, with the free version of this app, these positive pay files are editable and can be customized to meet your bank's needs.